Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Enns. I'm Senior Fellow in Biblical Studies at the BioLogos Foundation. And we're here today with uh, the Reverend Dr. Tom Wright. And we have a chance to ask some questions, some of which we've gotten uh, via Twitter and emails, uh, and also about a lot of topics such as his recent book, After You Believe, and uh, Science and Faith Issues. So uh, welcome, Tom. Uh, Thank you. In evangelical Christianity, this is another uh, email question that we received. Uh, there seems to be a great suspicion about becoming too liberal, uh, but not about becoming too conservative. There seems to be a slippery slope argument towards the left, but not towards the right. And as a result, uh, this questioner uh, states that the left side of the evangelical spectrum um, may uh, be tempted to leave or perhaps be silent and have no influence. Mm -hmm. Do you wish to comment on that? It's very interesting because, of course, in America, the spectrum of liberal conservative theology tends often to sit rather closely with the spectrum of left and right in politics. Mm. In England and in many other parts of the world, that simply isn't the case. Um, in England, you'll find that people who are very conservative theologically by what we normally mean conservative, in other words, believing in Jesus, believing in his death and resurrection, believing in the Trinity, are often the ones who are in the forefront of passionate and compassionate social concern of a sort which, were you to transplant it to America, people would say, oh, that's a bit left wing. And so I think what I want to do is to uncouple some of of the connections which people have routinely made, particularly in America, and to say actually the whole idea of a spectrum, whether it's theological or political, is probably very misleading because there are all sorts of insights that we need and we need to get them from bits of the Bible we don't normally expect and perhaps from people and bits of the church we don't normally expect. And that is something that a robust faith that is firmly rooted in God, in the Trinity, in Jesus, in the Holy Spirit, ought to be able to take on board. Otherwise what we're doing is substituting our framework um, and then judging people according to where they are in our framework, rather than something which is actually the, the, the given at the heart of our faith. Thank you.